18, so I really wanted to start this off right, and I kind of wanted to recap on what I have learned over the course of 2018. Now, in 2018 alone, I have worked one-on-one -on -one with over 600 clients developing personalized custom nutrition plans, right? Now, in working with those 600 people, one of the main things that I found over the course of 2018 is that there is this giant, 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 never-ending overabundance of information surrounding diet and exercise and weight loss, right? And what's happening is if you were to look at the research on search terms in places like Google, there are these constant millions and millions and millions and millions of searches for fat loss, weight loss, paleo recipes, keto recipes, how to lose weight, supplements for burning fat, blah, blah, blah. And if you were to compare the number of search terms for things like human metabolism, or how fats are metabolized, or how carbohydrates are metabolized, if you compare the numbers of those two things, it's virtually zero. Nobody seems to be interested in how the human body actually works. They want all this diet, tell me what to eat, I'll do it, I hope I lose weight, and look good in a bikini. But you don't learn anything that way. The mission of Clovis is to teach you all you need to know to live a long, happy, healthy life. Now I'm gonna try to break this down for you. I have a lot of notes here because this was one of the most information packed I have ever done. What I decided to do was teach my audience how their own metabolism works. So I call this basics of human metabolism. So I literally went through the absolute most basic parts of the human metabolism and how it works. Now, the human metabolism has four basic functions. It has a bazillion functions, but we're gonna just categorize them into four basic functions. One is energy production, right? Your body takes food and creates energy. This is called ATP, adenosine triphosphate. That is the goal, it's the energy currency of the body. It's required for everything the body does. So the goal of human metabolism is to take food and create energy. That happens in the state of catabolism usually. So function number one, energy. Function number two, catabolism. Catabolism is the body breaking down foods to create energy. Catabolism, breaking down foods to create energy. Number three, anabolism. That is the body taking those broken down foods and rebuilding and repairing tissues and even building new tissues. So if you're in a catabolic state, you're breaking things down. If you're in an anabolic state, you're building things up. Hence the term anabolic steroids for bodybuilders. Anabolic, building muscle. So one, energy. Two, catabolism. Three, anabolism. Four, cellular functions. Human metabolism creates energy so that your cells can function the way they need to, to do the millions of different things you need to do. My cells are functioning. I'm using ATP right now just to move my fingers. I'm using ATP to speak. I'm using ATP to blink, right? So I did a quick lesson on macronutrients. That's fat, protein, and carbohydrates. Fat, protein, and carbohydrates are your macronutrients. I went on to describe the role that each one of those macronutrients plays in all of these functions of the human metabolism. So what role does protein play in energy production, catabolism, anabolism, and cellular functions? And I went on to break down exactly how protein is metabolized and why, exactly how fats are metabolized and why, exactly how carbohydrates are metabolized and why. Because when you understand these things, you can understand understand the fundamental principles of obesity and how it happens. How is, glucose, how is glucose stored? Carbohydrates, how are those stored? Why are they stored? How come they're not burned? How come they get stored? Fats, why do they get stored? How come they don't get burned? They do get burned under certain circumstances. So in what circumstances are we burning fat? What circumstances are we storing fat? What circumstances are we burning glucose, carbohydrates? And what circumstances are we storing glucose? as glycogen, okay? So we went through all these basics of human metabolism. Again, one of the most information dense AMAs I have ever done. I'm super happy with it. I made a super easy URL for you to check out, clovis.show slash metabolism. clovis.show slash metabolism. So after describing this role that all these macronutrients play in all the different major functions of human metabolism, I taught people exactly how obesity happens. Then we learned the ins and outs of glucose and glycogen burning glucose versus storing glucose as glycogen. And at the very, very end, I gave a really quick lesson on the two major hormones that regulate blood sugar. And they decide when glucose is being burned or when glucose is being stored 
as glycogen or fat. In the case of most Americans, it's being stored as fat. Those two major hormones are insulin and glucagon. So we went in kind of in depth over insulin and glucagon. I even drew a chart as how those two things regulate your blood sugar and why blood sugar is a huge, huge, huge component of what happens and when, okay? So we went over blood sugar regulation. Then I went on to explain that if you are a healthy person with a working metabolism, not if you're metabolically flexible, not broken, metabolically inflexible, which is what most Americans are when they get to me, I fix the metabolism. When your metabolism is fixed and working the way it's supposed to, there's this misconception in the keto, paleo, low carb space that glucose and ketones are competing like they're against each other. You wanna be burning fat, not glucose. Well, the truth is your red blood cells can only burn glucose. They can't burn ketones. So ketones and glucose are not actually competing with one another. In a perfectly functioning metabolism in a healthy body, glucose and ketones do not compete with one another. I want to be clear about that. They share responsibilities. They divide and conquer. So if you have just enough glucose in the system, it's going to be shuttled to the red blood cells, the cells that need glucose to function. And the ketones are gonna be shuttled to the organs that can use ketones for energy, your brain, your heart, your kidneys, your skeletal muscle, right? That's what happens when we have a perfect working metabolism. This is why when you sign up for Clovis at IamClovis.com slash start, my number one goal for your first four to eight weeks is to fix your metabolism. You are probably metabolically broken. You're probably metabolically inflexible and don't even know it. You can only burn sugar for fuel. You need to get to me and work with me one-on-one -on -one so I can fix your metabolism and reteach your body how to burn fat for fuel. It's the number one source of fuel in the body. It's the most abundant. It's how we store energy in the body. We store way more fat than we do glucose. You should be burning fat for fuel period. I can teach you how to do that. This is your recap of basics of human metabolism. If you want to skip the line and just learn how to make your body burn fat, work with me one-on-one. -on -one. Iamclovis.com slash start. You get a free seven-day trial, full access to everything that my members get. You get to see the whole shebang, completely transparent, get an approved foods list, everything you need to get started. Iamclovis.com slash start work with me one-on-one -on -one. from there you can get a custom nutrition plan i will build your macros your approved foods your fitness plan everything for you and we will turn you into a fat burning machine i promise you okay so basics of human metabolism i hope you go check it out thanks for hanging with me bye have a wonderful weekend